I'm Rianne Roxborough and I'm from Tri Rocks Training. Today we are going to look at the kit that you need for a triathlon. So the first thing is to make it as basic as possible um, and that's what we're going to do today. So you've registered, you've got your number and you've got your timing chip because most triathlons have timing chips today. Um, so let's go through it from the beginning. So we go swim. If it's an open water swim, you will probably need a wetsuit. We'll talk about wetsuits another time, about the ideal wetsuit for you. Um, you will need a tri-suit, preferably a tri-suit. If you haven't got a tri-suit, there is no harm in wearing your swimsuit and putting a t-shirt on over at the top of it once you're in transition. Um, you will also need, you will be probably given a hat to wear. So if you're not used to wearing a hat, then I would recommend getting in the pool or in the open water and practicing with a hat because it is a funny sensation if you haven't um, used one before. And obviously your goggles. Now again, there's plenty of different types of goggles that you can use, um, but I would stick to ones that you use in the pool and that are comfortable. You can have these great big masks um, that a lot of people tend to start with in open water, but what happens is they can get knocked off your face and then they're no good for anything. So ones that you're comfortable with in the pool. So that's the swim. You then go on to the bike. So you will need, obviously, your bike. <laughs> you will need a helmet. Um, we'll talk about helmets and the rules with helmets because they're quite significant in triathlon. And you will need either your bike shoes, if you're used to cycling in bike shoes, or trainers to cycle in, whichever you would use better. Um, and then if you are wanting to protect your eyes from the wind, the rain, the snow, the sleet, the whatever, whether it comes at you, a pair of glasses as well. Um, and then onto the run. So you get rid of your bike, you get rid of your helmet, you get rid of your shoes if you're wearing bike shoes and you'll need to put on your trainers. Um, if it is sunny, a nice sun hat or something as well would be uh, good to have. So whilst you're doing the triathlon, you will need to wear your race belt. And if it's an open water swim, then put the race belt on before your wetsuit and then you don't have to worry about it thereafter. If not, and you're not wearing a wetsuit and you're going straight to the bike, you'll have to put it on for the bike. So just bear this in mind. If you're wearing a t-shirt and you want to put your number on the front and your number on the back, that's fine. Uh, it's very awkward to put on when wet. So a belt, a, a number belt is a lot easier and it's only a couple of quid. So you have the number on the back for when you're on the bike and then you turn it around for when you're on the run. Ta-da! Uh, I did mention at the very beginning that you would have a, num a timing chip. So you get something a bit similar to this that you have to put around your left ankle normally and the timing chip will fit on there. It's usually all comes together um and that has to stay on for the whole race so that you can get your time at the end and they know that you've finished um in transition itself you want a towel so this will help to dry the feet very quickly after the swim and um, to help put your shoes on or your trainers um, and then after the race you want some nice comfortable flip-flops to put on so that you can walk away with nice comfortable feet after a hard day's work uh, you can notice at the front here, I've got some talc or body glide. So if you're wearing a wetsuit, you might want to put a little bit of the body glide or Vaseline. It's not so great for your wetsuits, but body glide around the neck, the cuffs, and possibly around the ankles just to help with the uh, wetsuit to come off easy and also to stop any chafing. Um, and then the talc, some people use talc. I don't use talc, um, but a lot of people swear by it you put them in the trainers so that uh, you don't rub when you're running or in, when you're cycling and um, what I tend to do is put a little bit of the body glide on bits where I know will rub and that way uh, we're all good to go 